Hello everyone, this is Jaren Galorio and welcome to the UPLB University Library channel. In this episode, I will be giving a tutorial on plagiarism prevention and originality checking tool which is the Trinity Dean. A few weeks ago, there were faculty, students, and researchers requested to us an account, but some didn't know how to properly set up classes and assignments. This is also intended for all those who were not able to attend the information literacy program. This is quite long and I would like to ask for your patience. Make sure that you have your personal computer with you or tablets and we are good to start. The first step is to add a class. There are two type in creating a class the standard and master. The master is set for faculty who has teaching assistance. If none, you may set the default option, which is the standard. Next is to input the class name, enrollment key, subject areas, and student level. Select the end date for the class. Once the end date has passed, the class will not be accessible for submissions, unless the class is reactivated. Click Submit. Class information will be displayed in a pop-up window containing the ID and enrollment password for confirmation. The next step is to create an assignment. Just click the class name and click Add Assignment. Enter the assignment title. The point value is set by faculty on the maximum number of points a student can receive from an assignment. Select the start and due dates for the assignment. Specific times are also selected. Students are only able to submit once the start date and time has passed. After the due date and time, students will be blocked from submitting papers, unless late submissions are enabled. Select whether the assignment will require similarity reports for submissions or whether any file type can be uploaded. The default option is to allow only file types that turn it in can check for originality. For assignments that do not require similarity reports, you can can select allow any file type. This allows instructors to leave feedback on every file type. When creating a paper assignment, you may select to view and change any of the advanced assignment options. The advanced assignment options are viewed by clicking the optional settings link. Faculty can enter special instructions to their students about the assignment. Select whether you wish to allow submissions after the due date of the assignment. If set to yes, students will be able to submit to the assignment after the due date, providing they have not previously made a submission. If set to no, students will not be able to submit after the due date of the assignment. Report generation and resubmission options. If you set to immediately, or first report as final, similarity reports for all submissions will be generated immediately. Students cannot resubmit papers. Submissions must be deleted by the instructor to enable resubmission. If set to immediately can overwrite reports until due date, students may resubmit as often they need to until the due date. If set to on due date, similarity reports will not be generated for any submission until the due date and time of the assignment. Excluding the bibliography. Select whether you would like text appearing in the bibliography, works cited, or references sections of assignments to be excluded from being checked for matches in the similarity index when generating similarity reports. Excluding quotes. Select whether you would like the quoted materials to be excluded from similarity. 
excluding small sources. This feature works by excluding sources in the source list that are below a set word count or percentage threshold. Allow access to similarity reports. Choose whether you would like your students to view the similarity reports for their submissions to this assignment. Enabling translated matching. This allows translation of other languages used in a submitted paper. Repository options. If set to standard paper repository, papers submitted to the assignment are checked against other institutions' student submissions. However, by selecting to institutions' paper repository, this assignment will only be checked against other student submissions within the institution. Selecting no repository, papers will not be stored in any Turnitin repositories. The search options setting allows you to select which Turnitin repositories will be checked against when processing similarity reports for papers. Advanced online grading settings. If you would like to use a rubric to grade the papers submitted to the assignment, you may use the rubric list drop-down menu to select a previously created or imported rubric. Enabling E-Rater Grammar Checker. This feature of assignment creation provides instructors with the option to enable the E-Rater Grammar and Spelling Check for all submissions to the assignment. Select the ETS Handbook level from the drop-down menu. The ETS Handbooks provide students with in-depth information about the grammar errors the E-Rater technology finds in their paper. You can select the dictionary used for the spelling check, too. The Categories Enabled by Default option allows instructors to choose which categories of feedback are enabled when viewing assignment submissions in Grademark. And if everything is set, click the Submit button. Students are now ready to submit their paper assignments. Faculty can upload papers by clicking the More Actions and choose Submit. That's all guys. Further guides can be found at www.turnitin.com. If you're a student or a researcher and you want to check your paper before submitting it to your professor or for publication, just use your instructor account and follow the same procedure. Submitting a paper for students should use the student's account and enroll to a class created by a professor. 
provided with a class ID and enrollment key. Please remember that you can revise your paper in Trinity. All you must do is to download it, choose the current view, and that can be your guide for revision. After revising it, just upload it again and check if the similarity is already decreasing. But before you upload the same paper, make sure to delete first the paper submitted to avoid higher percentage of similarity score. To see more tutorials, please subscribe by clicking the red button. Like and follow our social media pages. Thank you very much for your time and stay healthy.